Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be doing a project I've been putting off for a little while, and that's uh, putting a hot swap bay into the top of this Bit Phoenix Pandora with a little bit of Chanley style. So basically, I've been waiting for a lot of parts to come in, and then was under the weather. But since how Jay's two cents is going to make a video while he's got a cold. And I am apropos basically did content until his body was about to shut off. I really don't feel like I have a good enough reason not to do this build anymore. Um, so really I'm just going to start off with things you're going to need in no particular order because my desk is pretty clustered right now. So you're going to need a ruler, some 3M um, edge tape, the blue scotch kind. You're going to need some L brackets. I got these. They're actually designed for glass countertops. Uh... Obviously, you're going to need the bracket for the hot swap, a photocopy of your hard drive. Trust me, it'll make sense. The actual hard drive, because you want to make sure it works when you're done. You're going to need uh, uh, these metric steel uh, M3.5 times 6 millimeter screws, and you're going to need these M3.5 millimeter um, nuts. To screw in the nuts, you're going to need a 7 seconds uh, wrench or socket, a tap, Allen key, piece of wood, that's to brace the uh, flimsy steel or uh, sheet metal, drill bits, miniature files, a tiny clamp, drill, dremel, oh, I got too many things on my lap, and uh, MNPC tech would uh, kill me if I didn't say this, eye protection and gloves, because safety first. Oh yeah, also going to need rivet gun, and some rivets. If I have left anything else out, I will put it in as I go. All right, so the first couple of things I went ahead and did and tore down this case, completely stripped it of all the components just to basically free it up from me having to clean it a lot. Put the tape on here, and this is basically, it's low adhesive tape, so you don't have to worry about using like Goo Gone or anything to get the stickiness off. It shouldn't leave any kind of sticky residue. And I put it all over the top here just as a way to protect it from my Dremel work. Because if it hits the tape, it won't leave any gouges in the case and in the paint. And what you guys are probably thinking, why don't I just bend the tabs out of the way? And really, I don't have a way to bend them that would leave it a clean looking way. So I'd rather just cut them off and make it flat and forget about it, really. Other steps I took is I went ahead and I pulled off the little rubber foam things here. They're stuck on by a cheap adhesive so you don't have to worry about ripping them or anything just kind of pull lightly and they come right off and I took little rubber tabs off of these clips and I'll actually use them later on the back here alright so just to get all the dremeling out of the way I went ahead and cut a piece out of the bracket so that way I could put it together and um, make everything look pretty because the way it was set up the the bracket and the molex connector really weren't going to work together very well so I had to cut a little piece out of the bracket just to make it fit next to the Molex connector and then I went ahead and cut off the tabs on the top if you guys want to take a look and see how that looks um, so far so good I could probably clean this up a little bit but for now I like how it looks the next thing I'm going to do while the top is on is I'm going to line up the hard drive the best I can without having the prongs down here touch the case because I'm pretty sure that'll cause a short. I don't want these to come in contact with the parts up here. I want everything to flow really well. And I want it to also look really well while having plenty of support on both sides. All right. That looks pretty good. Now that I know exactly where I want this thing and it looks fairly square. I'm going to go ahead and just take this clamp. 
gently clamp this thing into place so that way I don't lose my spot. Carefully take the top off and with a silver sharpie I'm just going to gently fill in the circle right here and fill in this circle right here so that now I know where to drill. That I've got all that stuff out of the way. I'm going to take the piece of wood and basically the idea behind this is I'm going to use the wood to support the sheet metal so that it doesn't uh, warp or anything. And I'm going to do my best to put this right in the middle here. And since I don't really have three hands, I'm going to, you know, use my clamp because that's really handy. Just in case you guys missed that, I definitely just brought out a hammer. So, you know, you're going to need a hammer. And before I start drilling, I'm going ahead and lined up the piece of paper using the hard drive and put some tape on the bottom, on the side here, down here and here. What you guys are probably thinking is, Brian, why are you going to drill holes there if it's going to be a hot swap bay? Well, that's because I need stability. Because if I'm going to ship this or move this, I want to be able to throw a couple of screws in so that way I don't have to worry about the hard drive moving around or coming out. So. Not sure if you guys can see it, but I got my holes right here and right here. Unfortunately, it's a little too far on this side for me to be able to drill holes safely on this, so I'm going to leave that alone. But that's two perfect spots and plenty enough anchorage to uh, secure a hard drive. So I went ahead and I drilled out all the holes. I used a deburring tool to basically take off the burrs and give the holes a nice chamfer. I moved all of the little foam grommets to basically the forward side of the hard drive so that way they give it some more support at the end where there's no support basically at the opposite end of the hot swap area alright guys here's the finished product I really like how it turned out. Fits in there perfect. Even the cables look really great just the way they are. The only problem, I still gotta finish building the whole computer. Oh no. Well, at least now that I got the mods out of the way, I'll have plenty of time to, uh, well, you know, now I can just build the computer since the mods are out of the way. Thanks for watching my mod video, guys. I really appreciate you coming and checking it out. Some things that I would have done a little bit differently or that I learned from this project is. Make sure you're holding a rivet gun straight up and down, like perfectly straight up and down. I end up having to drill out one of the rivets and start over, which wasn't hard. It's just a pain in the butt. Um, I really like the way it turned out. I think it it belongs. I really wish Bit Phoenix had done this, like in the factory. It just makes more sense. I like the way that even if without the hot swap bay, turning the hard drive around just looks better and it gets the cables out of the way. I also like to apologize for the sound quality. I didn't realize that my computer decided to not use my Yeti and just use the mic on the computer. Uh, I also, I'm sorry for my voice and whatnot. Like I said, I just wanted to try to shoot a video even if I was sick. I just don't care. I wanted to get some of this stuff done and get caught up on all the videos I need to do and edit. Go ahead and check out my Facebook page. It's uh, all, all my uh, all my links are down below in the description. So my Facebook, my Twitter, my Twitch. Go ahead and check those out. Post some pictures of your computer up there. I'd like to see what you guys like to do. And if you've followed any of my mods or demonstrations, I'd like to see how it came out on your end. Once again, thanks for tuning into my mod. This was adding a hot swap bay to a Pandora, Chanley style. Hey, Bit Phoenix. Thank you again for sending me this case. I really do appreciate the opportunity to 
do stuff for you guys. Well, you're one of my favorite uh, case building companies. Where the fuck's my silver sharpie?